Hello guys, this is me, Megan, and well, today is the 4th of February 2023. So yeah, I'm just chilling in my room, waiting for the Mars Singer to start, because it's a Saturday. And right now, the time is... Time is... Let me just put this chair so I can start it in a minute. Right now, the time is, with my laptop to load, probably around 5... 40 uh so let's see if i'm right oh wait it's five uh oh no it's six it's six p.m it's six twenty two p.m so we've got uh maybe 40 minutes 40 or so minutes before the massing starts so yeah so this week i've just been doing a lot of things well since the well the massing are season four we're on season four now we've got fawn Jellyfish, Jacob Potato, Knitting, Rhino, Phoenix, and that's it. Performing. Everyone else has gone off the show. We had Ghost, Chris Kamara on the first episode. We had Lulu as Piece of Cake. We had... Uh... Oh, who is it? I can't remember. But we had... Uh... Oh, no, we had Rubbish, Bin. Oh, Cat and Mouse as... Martin Kemp and Shirley Kemp, Rubbish Bin as Stephen Hendry, Pigeon as Catherine Ryan. So that was a kind of a cool reveal. Oh, I thought I thought it was Gemma Collins or Catherine Tate, but it wasn't. So we've got Fawn left over, Knitting, Rhino, uh, Jellyfish, Otter. We've got Otter. Uh, I don't know every single person. I don't know Phoenix, but I know I don't really know Otter. Uh, people have been saying it's Daisy May Cooper but I've seen it on Twitter and I just I never really thought of it until I saw other people saying it so I looked her up yesterday and I don't know I'm guessing I'm just on the fence with that one so something really amazing happened which is probably going to be the main topic of this video is that I actually became a fan of All Saints, the band from the 90s, uh, late 90s. I don't know every single thing about them because I only became a fan of them on the 22nd of January 2023. That was almost two weeks ago now, three weeks ago. It was on a Sunday, the 22nd of January 2023. And I call that day the flat tyre day because my dad had a flat tyre so I remember going in the car, sitting in the car, waiting for it to be fixed while watching All Saint videos and stuff. And ever since then, I became a fan of the band. Natalie Appleton is Fawn, and I'm so excited to see her. It's the Mars Singer starts in less than an hour. This whole week, I've been researching her, their songs and everything else. And I kind of, well, it's her, basically. So, um, what else? Nothing else really. I've been just watching videos of them, interviews, because every single year when the Mars Singer comes on, it's always someone who I become a fan of from the show. So in 2021, it was Joss Stone. In 2022, it was Charlotte Church. And in 2023, it's Natalie Appleton. So that's pretty exciting and it's cool because it always happens around end of January. I'm not kidding. I became a fan of Just Stone on 26th of January 2021. Became a fan of Charlotte Church on the 26th of January 2022. So exactly a year apart. I don't know why I became a fan of Natalie a little bit earlier. But it's only like four days early. So four days before the 23rd, uh, six. So yeah, that is pretty cool. So I've been just been doing my research, knitting as well with Claire Richards from Steps and so funny. She always denies it on Twitter. She guesses every single person but knitting. And it's so funny because everyone is just like guessing her. And she's just making excuses about it. Like just changes the subject really. There goes my picture of All Saints. 
I guess the picture Neil was talking about the Mars Singer. So yeah, very cool band, and it's so weird because it's just like how I became a fan of Girls Aloud. It was similar in the Mars Singer season one. I saw Nicola Roberts. I didn't know who she was. I knew she she was from a girl band, but I didn't know. So a few months after that, back in two thousand and twenty, I became a fan of Girls Aloud as a whole. So last year, when I saw Master Chef, that Mel was in it. Mel, she, I saw it. She was from All Saints. No idea about the band. No idea whatsoever. Thought they were all Canadian. So it's weird how. A year later, I went back to this band. Now I became a fan of them. <sighs> so it's weird how things work out like that. It's just the same as Girls Aloud. I just saw one member, didn't really know much about the band, and then a few months after that, I saw the band already altogether. So it's, yeah, the same thing with All Saints, really. It's, I'm no stranger to becoming a fan of bands that aren't in the spotlight anymore. I mean, the same thing with Girls Aloud and now All Saints. Three years apart. Like, it's just crazy. Tomorrow is Sunday, 20, uh, Sunday 5th of February. It'll be two, three weeks, I think, three weeks or something like that since I became a fan of All Saints. So I'm going to be tweeting them for the first time. I messaged Nat on Instagram. That was the night after Rubbish came out of the show. It was that night I just missed her saying, I'm a new fan. Hope you can say hello to me. That's all I said on Instagram. There's some someone put, I went to the Hansard Heath, I saw a phone there. <laughs> she like she actually ended up liking it. But yeah, Fawn is Natalie. Claire is knitting, Amber Riley is Jellyfish, Rhino is Charlie from Busted, and Otter, probably Daisy May Cooper, Jagger Potato, I think someone called Richie Sambora, no idea who that is, I thought it was Shane Richie, but it doesn't look like it. And who am I missing? Phoenix, I've got no idea. Apparently it's from someone in a band, the band that sang Ruby. Yeah, rubbish sang that. So yeah, very weird coincidence, I guess. It'll be so funny because it was Knitting who actually sang a song, or Claire, as Knitting sang a song that Steps actually sung in the past. So it's weird seeing people compare it and Claire's like, I never sung that or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, got my hair dyed a few weeks ago now and it's not fading yet, dip dyed reddish purple so yeah been the best weekend in the world so far it's only saturday but let's see time ah marsing a start in half an hour so yep half an hour right now that's the time whoops i didn't want me to do that yeah right now it's six it's half six so i'm gonna shower get myself ready to see natalie and claire I've been doing a lot of research in the past week, this week. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to see when she gets revealed. I hope she wins this show. Jellyfish is good, but Amber Riley won the last season <coughs> in America. So, it'll be kind of unfair if she won this one. I'm hoping Natalie wins. And if that's the case, then it will be two Natalies that have won it. And, yeah. Ah, still can't really tell the difference between Natalie and Nicole. Although, I think Nicole's one of the funniest in the band. Like, she just made a funny joke in the Build interview that I saw around a week ago now. Uh, yeah, around that. And it was so funny. Yeah. Very sweet as well. So yeah, that's the video I'm going to do today. It's kind of based on the Mars Singer, what I've been doing. I'm going to tweet them more tomorrow. I'm going to tweet Nicole first, I think. Don't really know what I'm going to say, but I'm not a stranger to messaging people in band. So did the same thing with Nadine. 
she didn't reply but i did get a hug from her when i met her oh my god i can't believe that was half a year ago now hyde park she grabbed onto my arms like this after we hugged it was just the best and obviously i met charlotte in church <laughs> yeah so good so the dumping ground haven't been watching that lately i tweeted i uh posted one of the jodies leaving then she didn't reply yet so that's very sad got me anxious for around a week i went to art therapy and then i guess i feel a bit better i don't know but yeah that's it that's all i'm gonna say i need to get ready for the mask singer get my pajamas on and stuff eat chinese so yeah that's it bye Hair's annoying.